Hey YouTube, it's Meredith Rigdon again here from Greenville Bucket List where the ultimate bucket list item is moving to Greenville. Today we're showing you how to enjoy the holiday in Greenville, South Carolina. We're starting on Main Street in front of Greenville's Christmas tree which will be lit this weekend along with the Poinsettia Christmas Parade. Come along and I'll show you how to enjoy the holidays in Greenville. When you think of Christmas, you probably think of snow, of hot chocolate, and ice skating. It might make you wonder why Southern Living named Greenville, South Carolina one of the best places to spend a holiday vacation. Well, even here in South Carolina, with our mild winters, you can still come ice skating. You've got sleigh rides with Santa up and down Main Street, the beautiful trees, lining the street and you've also got ice skating right here in South Carolina. Some days it might not feel like Christmas but in Greenville it sure does look like Christmas. Right now we're in Camperdown Plaza and you can see behind me the beautiful holiday mural. You'll find murals all over Greenville. This one tells you you can make sweet memories and I have a few tips for how you can do that. Start by walking up and down Main Street. You'll find shops and restaurants and you're sure to find something for everybody on your list. Hop on your bike and head up or down the Swamp Rabbit Trail. You can stop at the Swamp Rabbit Cafe and take advantage of their weekend pop-ups called a Holiday Flea where you can check off your Christmas list from local and regional makers. When you plan your trip to Greenville or venture out for the weekend, if you already live here, you might be surprised at how cold it can get in Greenville. Today, it definitely feels like Christmas. I just told my buddy with the film crew, my eyes are watering, it's so cold. But it's kind of festive and it makes it nice to wear your fun sweaters. When you're ready to make some more holiday memories, grab tickets and head to see the Nutcracker at the Peace Center or check out Holiday at Peace, which includes an audience sing-along. Also, don't miss the Festival of Trees, which is located at the Hyatt on Main Street. It's trees donated and decorated by organizations and schools around Greenville County, and trust me, you don't wanna miss it. When you plan your weekend in Greenville, you have plenty of options to choose from from where to stay. There's the Poinsett Hotel. There's also AC Hotel, which is home to Paloma, next door to Camperdown Plaza. And it seems like when you're in Greenville, around every corner, there's Christmas. I encourage you just to get out, just to wander, and go in every door that's open, check out the local businesses and hotels, and see what kind of Christmas magic you can find. If you're like me, and you might be, sometimes you've had your fill of being outside in the cold and the wind, and it's awesome to come inside. I recommend, even if you're not staying here, come inside and visit and wander inside the Green Bohemian Hotel. I've found a little cozy corner with some awesome chairs and a fireplace where I can just hang out. I can see Falls Park, and it is beautiful. When you wander the Grand Bohemian, there's an art gallery. There's literally surprises around every corner. There's two restaurants and you just have to come see it. Even if you don't make it to Greenville during Christmas time, you gotta come see the Grand Bohemian. I love to shop and Greenville has so many fun opportunities to shop during the holiday season. One of my favorite things to do is go to all the pop-ups that are all over town. Greenville today is a great place to see what's going on. You can also go to visitgreenvillesc.com and they have a full list of everything that's happening. When you're in Greenville, you can celebrate whatever holiday it is that's most special to you. I love Noma Square because it has an oversized menorah set up and it will be lit on the first night of the holiday so that we can celebrate Hanukkah as well. I'm sure you've heard about Unity Park. If you're anywhere within earshot of any news about Greenville, Unity Park is the new park that everybody wants to go visit. When you go out there, don't miss a stop at Southern Side Brewery. They have decorated for Christmas, and I promise you, it looks just like the North Pole. And I know that everybody says, oh, take the kids. I go because I wanna see it. So go see it, go check out the event calendar and find out where all the Greenville holiday pop-ups are, and I bet you'll see me out too. 
No matter what time of year you visit Greenville, you can't miss Falls Park. Greenville exists pretty much because of the Reedy River. That's how the textile industry started here. And now the Reedy River is the place where everybody comes. It's a great place for family pictures. It's a great place to spend an afternoon. There are plenty of restaurants right here in the park and on the river. And it's a gorgeous place to take that family Christmas card photo. When you come to Greenville, don't miss Falls Park. If you know me, you know that I love Greenville and I always wanna share my personal favorites with you. We have Lululemon right here on Main Street where you can check off that Christmas list. If you're starting to get hungry from a day of shopping and exploring, don't miss Parsley and Mint. Their food is incredible and the owner is actually a good friend and neighbor of mine. When you're ready for dinner, make sure you plan ahead and make reservations to eat at Gianna. I can personally promise you it will be one of the best meals you'll ever have and it's right here in beautiful Greenville, South Carolina. No matter what time of year it is, it's always the right time to visit Greenville, South Carolina. It's not a secret anymore that this is the place to be and especially during the holidays, no matter what holiday you're celebrating, you can visit Greenville, South Carolina and make new memories that you'll cherish forever. My name's Meredith Rigdon. I'm a part of Greenville Bucket List and I'd love to be your tour guide for all things Greenville, South Carolina. Bye.